hi friends welcome to today's tutorial session uh, today we are going to demonstrate how to install sql light on your windows environment so as you know about the sql light is the database which is very lightweight and it is usually used on the android application development or you can deploy this sqlite database at any of the database requirement so now i'm going to demonstrate to install sqlite so you have to open sqlite.org go to download so on download you have the several sources or the source code which is available so we have to install pre-compiled binaries for windows environment so you can see here we have pre-compiled binaries for windows now click to download so it, it will take a few minutes to download because just a few kb of file now you open the sqlite you can see there here is the sqlite so i'm going to extract into the location where i want to be installed so you can see so i have extracted you can extract this uh, sql light uh, folder to the c drive also now you can see here we have extracted the file uh, of the SQL database, SQL Lite database that is available here. Now, what we have to do, we have to open the database. So, what we have to do, go to start, go to run command, type cmd. Now, you can see here the command prompt has appeared. You can customize the screen according to your need now we have to go to the directory e drive and the folder is light so open go to e drive if you give the directory whatever the directory available here then cd now you can see here as you can see here in the folder only sql literally.txt is available and here in the directory search it is displaying sqlite 3. so now you have to type sql light so now we want to create a database so what we are going to do we have to type sql light three space then whatever the database name you want to create so we have to create the uh, database name test or you can create any database name like i'm creating a campus dot db so now you can see there we are into the uh, command So now you can see here we have created the database we are entering into the database now what we have to do we have to create a table so uh, as usual uh, you are aware about the database query to create a uh, database so create table because already we have created the database 
then you give the table name what the field name you want to give like I can give that name sorry a, a string then B string and you have must give the semicolon at the end you have to give the semicolon so you can see there on the, the query has uh, executed successfully and you can see here uh, the database name with the employees dot db has been created successfully after creating if you want to see again what is the structure of the database then you have to give dot a schema so you can see that what the structure or the query we have executed for the uh, the test table it's heavier now we have to insert the data into the table so insert into table name then we have the field a and b we have to enter values so because we have given the as a string so you have to in double quotes again the second field also is the give the semicolon now you can see there the there is no error that means the, your command has executed uh, successfully now we want to see that uh, what exactly we have into so use the select command select star from the table name now you can see there we have given the name the first name that is the a field or entity as a employee software solutions and the b string as the sales at employees.com so you can see here it is, has been successfully now if suppose you want to quit so you have to give dot quit so now you can see there we are again into the the previous screen or the previous the command prompt if you want to see the directory again just enter the directory you can see here we have created uh, the database name empowers.db it is available here now now if you want to directly enter into the database so we have to use the query as sql light 3 space the database name dot db enter again dot schema you can see there what the structure we have used so this way you can see the the structure or the schema of the uh, sql light the database table and uh, it is again if you want to again see that uh, what data is available select star from test so you can see here the query has executed successfully so uh, thank you for watching